Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you my four foot Bedini motor. This Bedini motor has 11 coils on it. It was made for 12, but the experiment was not successful. So I did not make the 12th coil. This rotor here has super pull magnets. They're spaced too far, too close together. And these magnets are south, north, north, south. So there's a super north that comes right out of here. So it'll trigger these coils really quick. So you can see how close they are there. These coils, they have 10 wires on each coil twisted together. They are 150 feet long and I have over a hundred uh, Bedini circuits on this whole thing here. It works quite well but not like I would like it to so I was thinking about using two wheels two smaller wheels bike wheels as you can see see in the back instead of using this large wheel so if you could uh, give me some some advice on what I should do uh, to redesign this that'd be excellent I wanted to tell you some how about a little bit about how quick this will put out power or how much it'll put out like I have two big cables down here that I hook up to these batteries right over here and I'm just using this one as an example if you pop this cover off you'll be able to see the acid inside the battery and you'll be able, if you look down there after like a couple seconds of this thing running like you'll you like you'll start seeing bubbles start to come up that's like how quick it's like throwing the juice into the battery so if you could all give me some vi advice on how I should build this better that would be great just leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thank you